What's up everybody? Welcome to Willop Solo Queue, and I'm gonna show you guys how to split shadow play and voice comps. Now, why would you want to do that and what the hell is shadow play? Shadow play, um, if you haven't heard of it, you definitely should. It is I would say it's basically the future and it's so awesome that Nvidia has actually given us this. And what it is, it's actually an onboard chip. It's an onboard chip that's on GTX series 600 and up. So if you have a GTX uh, 600 series and up, say you have a 700 or whatever, 750 Ti, you can actually use Shadowplay. Now if, you're, if you have a GTX uh, 750 Ti like as an example and you're, and you're using like fraps to record, to record your gameplay, you need to slap yourself because this is this is like a million times better. And I we actually own more than one capture device. Um, what we are currently using is actually a uh, AverMedia Live Gamer Portable uh, Light, which is this right here. And we use that um, because you know we didn't have anything else at the time, and it actually works really well. It does uh, 1080p at 30 frames a second. Um, most of our videos look fantastic. You can't even really tell the difference. Um, and then we also have a um, another one that actually Stench brought us. It's a Live Gamer HD. It's an internal one, a PCI slot, PCI Express slot. And that one will actually uh, install into the computer. But both, basically, they're both the same. They are both uh, 1080p at 30 frames a second. Now, what's funny is there are two, um, and the reason why Shadow Play is actually amazing is because it will record at 1080p at 60 frames a second. In fact, it actually record higher. Um, I just recently got a GTX uh, 970, and that can support a higher um, higher resolution than what my computer could even show. I think it, it can go to you know the 440p or whatever. But my monitor can't go that high. But anyway, why am I so geeked about Shadow Play? Um, why don't I just show you? you you will fulfill your mother's dying wish whether it was to spread her ashes at Lakshmana or to accomplish something greater now as you can see that footage was fantastic um, <laughs> honestly amazing and the fact that um, you know Nvidia has actually put this chip and it, it does h264 uh, codec um, when you record, let's say, an hour long of gameplay, it's around 15 gigs, which is honestly insane. Um, and, you know, to be able to take that and just right away throw it into, um, you know, throw it into your Sony Vegas or what have you and start editing right away is amazing. Um, but we ran into a predicament where... Uh, we we wanted we record all our voice comms with mumble and we use mumble mainly because and actually I can even open it up for you do, do, do. we use mumble um, and nobody's in here right now yeah uh, we use mumble because um, when you record voice comms with it it'll actually do multi-channel meaning so you have Bob, Tom, and Larry in there. When you hit record in Mumble, it actually will make a separate file for each person. Now, that sounds great on paper, but most recording devices, actually, um, most recording devices will pick up the voice comm sounds like TeamSpeak or Ventrilo or even Mumble. If I use if I use Shadowplay without splitting up the audio whatsoever, when I go to record a game, my friends talking will show up in the audio 
in the gameplay. So I could just take the video file, throw it into Sony Vegas, for instance, and all of their voices will be in there. Now, you could say, whatever, my friends are perfect. They never make a mistake. They never make, say something stupid, blah, blah, blah. But there are a million reasons why you want to split audio. <laughs> and that was, that was the main reason with me. Maybe you want to... Uh, maybe someone who was talking too much during a certain certain por uh, part. Maybe someone actually screamed during a portion where somebody said something really funny and you completely missed it. You would never know these things unless you actually had split the audio. I mean, um, and I'll show you an example. This right here is, uh, you know, recording from Hyper Mongoose. Um, and you can see here, this is the gameplay audio. This is the actual footage. And then these, I think this is this is Shin, and this is me. Now, if I'm actually playing this, I think that's actually the murder. If I'm playing this right I, now, I and I'm like, okay, shut myself up. Oh really? I can hear. See how I can split okay, them apart. Let's, let's and you can see because we were sitting in this video, we were sitting right next to each other. In this video, we're sitting right next to each other. <laughs> there was so much echo at certain portions, so you can actually see I'm taking out, uh, uh, you know, echo each time. Now, if I were to leave that in, and I'm, honestly, I'm a quality whore. I want things to be as good as they can be. So, excuse me. Uh, if, if I hear a lot of echo at a certain portion, it drives me nuts. I can't take it. Um, so... <laughs> This is why it's important to split audio. So now let's get to how. Um, what what I have done, and most people will not like this tutorial. I'll tell you why, because it's not free. <laughs> what I have done will cost you around $75. And that is because you need a USB sound card, a cheapo one. Honestly, you can go to, shit, Radio Shack has a lot of them. Amazon has them. You can actually buy them for around seven to ten dollars. Basically, what you're looking for is a USB stick with a uh, stereo and mic jack output on it, and that's all you need. That's to split one audio. The other audio will be your regular stereo speakers or whatever. That that will be used for Nvidia Shadowplay. Now, the way that I've actually set it up is, if you look in here, I'm gonna go to Playback Devices and open this up. You will see that my my regular everyday speakers are exactly you know are the the default device. If I go down to, um, I actually got a Creative Sound Blaster little USB stick. That one, and you don't honestly you don't have to get the same one I did. Seriously, it's, this is like literally just for listening to. So don't feel like you have to get the exact brand that I had or whatever. So now, when you're recording in Shadowplay, all of the speakers, which will be your regular gameplay, will go through and re record regularly. Now, Mumble, I made it so all the sound comes out the USB uh, sound card. And the way I've done that is, if I go to Mumble here, and this, this actually works with Skype, it works with TeamSpeak, it works with Ventrilo. All you have to do is, and the settings will be different, I've used all of them, so I know that you can change them all. If you go to configure and mumble and go to settings, and then go to audio output, you will see that the device that it goes out of is Sound Blaster, uh, the USB sound card. The reason I've done that is, you know, I obviously is to split the audio. And now, you may stop me right here and go, wait. You can use virtual cables, blah, 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 whatever. I've tried to use virtual cables, and actually I even donated to this guy, whoever make, makes this, to try to get it to work. Now, I was able to split the audio between the gameplay, but I actually had trouble with the recording itself. When I recorded the gameplay, it was actually lagged because it was going through an audio cable. So when people were talking in a game, it would actually be the sound would be off from their lips. Okay, so you split the auto, now it's all screwed up. Congratulations. There's a bug in Mumble when you actually record that everybody else's voices will be perfectly fine except the guy recording. So your recorded file, when it splits it all up, will be wrong. Now that's the last thing you need to happen because you, <laughs> you know, honestly, you went through all that trouble to record it, 
and now your voice sounds all robotic and, and all that stuff. I've already tested this out. It does not happen with this. Um, also, there's other virtual cables that you can get, but I am not a sound engineer. You know, I don't... I don't know what all these bit rates and up and down and left and right and you you mess with it so much that you'll actually sound robotic or echoey or all kinds of stuff and the thing is powerful and I'm sure I'm too stupid to understand it but you know the way that I'm doing it is just so concrete if you follow what I'm doing you'll get it right away and you'll know exactly what to do so here's my mixer it's the Behringer Xenix 502 right here what you're gonna to want to do to set this up is your regular speakers on your motherboard you're gonna to have to buy two of these cords and that's why this is this retails for like forty five dollars and then you need another uh, ten dollars for the USB sound card roughly and then you need two of these cords and basically what these are is you have a three and a half millimeter end right here regular headphone end and on the other side is red and white stereo quarter inch uh, connections basically similar to like a guitar amp or whatever and that will plug into this mixer so that you can actually see you probably can't see it there's one side says line in the other one says, says line or uh, no no it says line line two and three line four and five that's basically two and three are right and left channels and uh, four and five are right and left channels of another one so basically all I've done is you take this mixer and you plug in right and left like that after you plug in the quarter inch uh, right and left channels into the mixer the other end like this will go into one will go into your regular uh, right into your motherboard uh, the onboard sound or sound card whatever you're using as your default device for shadow play and you'll have a cord exactly the same way. You'll plug it into right next to it on the mixer. And same exact thing. This end will go into the USB sound card to listen to mumble. I've also bought a quarter inch to 3.5 3 millimeter. And that's for the heads, the phones area. So you can actually read that. It says phones. That's your headphones. So what you want to do is... Once you get those both plugged in, you'll plug that in, plug in this, or you'll plug in your headphones, plug in your headphones right into that. Now when you actually power it, uh, when you power it, you'll actually, now, you'll be able to hit here both the split sound in one so you'll be able to hear your gameplay sound and your mumble sound into the same thing this way when you actually record you're splitting the audio completely and it could be off on the price a little bit but you need two of those uh, 3.5 millimeter to um, quarter inch right and left stereo cords you need two of them those my, both of those are about ten dollars ten dollars a piece so you need two of those that ups the price to about 65 with the mixer plus that it's it's like $75 you need around $75 this is probably average price of what you pay um, anyway that's all I got if you like the tutorial let me know um, if you found a better way or a cheaper way to do this uh, also let me know and if this was helpful at all to you uh, leave a comment leave a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks